Hallelujah, my God is so good. Yes, we our God is just is just is good. Yes, I'm telling you, your God, my God is just is is a really really good good God. Hallelujah, we believe. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He save us. He chose us and lead us our life. Uh, the best way until we go to heaven. Yes. Mm. I, I, I got it, the testimony. I know you have testimony too. It, it, people uh, who does not believe Jesus Christ on this earth try to find uh, the happiness and the uh, other thing they want from this world and they want to get the, from their possession the material thing and something they want but those things never give the a true happy and uh, in, the, in the thing they want to get but we we got the he got the true happiness. We have a face and we have a joy in our life. Joy, oh, God gave us joy. The world will never take out this joy. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord, for giving glory today. I thank you, Lord. Our God is an awesome God, almighty God, and he just shown he's so great for you, to us. It's been good, my God, who been good to me, and he will lead us in our future until we go to heaven. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Oh, pray the, pray the Lord. House of the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Lord. Thanksgiving to the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray that I adore, I worship the Thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my peace it flowed in my mind. And I believe also this peace will never give to you the in the flow in your mind every day. I pray for you that this will keep you, the, you will keep this peace. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, my God. My God, awesome God. Oh, thank you. My God is a God of Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Oh, he pronounced it so, so beautiful. Ebenezer. Ebenezer of the God. What is Ebenezer? I believe some people know that what Ebenezer means. Uh, Ebenezer means the God, the, 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 no God, the stone of a helper, stone, stone of a helper. You know, the, uh, I want to tell you uh, the, the, about this stone. The, the Samuel, who was a great judge and prophet and, and priest, uh, he, he set it up this stone between uh, Ebenezer and Shen, and he named it, listen, what's this? God, that's God, that's far, yeah, that's far. That's far has, Lord, help us. That's far has, my God, your God, help us. Is uh, first Samuel seven chapter twelve. Today's text. So, 
All right. Uh, where, where did Samuel set it up this stone? Well, it, uh, you know, uh, it was the place Israelite had been slowly defeated by Philistine, the enemy, 20 years ago. It, you know, it was the place also of despair where they had lost, they had lost everything. Mm. Yes. Oh, all right. I want to tell you, listen, the story I'm going to tell you. And according to uh, Samuel, First Samuel chapter four, five, six. Uh, before I go to the main topic that I'm going to preaching today. Uh, people of Israel went out to fight against the Philistine at the Ebenezer, I've told you, as a text. And Philistine also camped at Apha to fight against Israel. So there was a severe war at battlefield to power. What happened? Israel, Israel people were defeated. They lose the battlefield. 4,000 people were killed at the, that battlefield. So, elders of Israel cry out after return from the battlefield. Why, why did the Lord bring the, to defeat us to our enemy, Philistine? What shall we do? We have to bring the, the Ark of the Lord's Covenant. They, it may help us, and we may be victory when we get this Ark of Covenant. So they brought the Ark of Lord's Covenant. from the Silo, where uh, was a religious city and originally uh, the, the, it was it placed at that location all the time. So people of Philistine had heard the shouting, shouting, or shouting. Israel, when Israel people cried out and Joyful, they were uh, rejoice 
with ark of Lord covenant when it came to their camp. Ebenezer, battlefield, they had to fight to Philistine. So P Philistine, okay, Philistine, uh, I want to know, watch this. The people of Philistine, I want to tell you the, the geology and uh, some history of these people. The Philistine descendants of Noah, descendants of Noah's son, Ham. They had settled and along the southeastern Mediterranean coast between Egypt and Gaza. You know, still, uh, people of Philistine leave the Gaza area. They were originally, you know, one of the sea people, like pirate, who, you know, uh, was migrated to the Middle East, to Middle East in ship from the creeks. They are, they were, major enemy to Israel, and still they are major enemy against Israel. Yes, I will tell you later more. All right. <coughs> oh, so they attack again, and Israel were defeated. They lost the battlefield by Philistine. 30,000 people were killed again. And listen, my friend, they took an ark of Lord Covenant and the two sons, uh, Hobbes and Binas, were killed in the battlefield. And also, you know, Eli, the priest was killed after he heard, had heard bad news. All right, so what happened? It is interesting that I, 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 I want to tell you, watch this. Philistine took the Ark of Covenant, and they carried out to the, the city uh, Astas. They put the, the Ark of Covenant in their Dagon's temple. What happened? Listen. Dagon fall down beside the 
Ark of Covenant. And the next day, the people set up again. Dagon, which they believed, this false god, foreign god. <laughs> it was a major god by Philistine. Fall down on the ground, face and hands cut up beside our God, <laughs> Lord. Oh, yeah. So, people of Pakistan were afraid. They say, how can, how can we stay with the God of Israel? We can't leave this the God of Israel. Their God, their God's hand struck us. We have to move them. So they, they decide to move to the other city uh, to in uh, what what what's uh, in, in, uh, uh, yeah yeah yes it. Gas, gas, what happened in that city? The hinge of the gas stretch and struck the people of gas when The Ark of a Covenant came into the dead city. God of Israel struck with a tumor. A lot of people were killed. They start afraid again. And they had a council to move another seed. Ekron. Same thing happened that a lot of people were killed in this place what happened by hand of mighty God of Israel. Finally, they decide to return this Ark of Covenant to people of Israel. This glory of God, Ark of Lord's Covenant, return to the people of Israel, who they eagerly waiting to get and the of this God's God's symbol that 
Oh, contained ten commandments. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, the, oh my, my God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Today's scripture speaks about what had happened in the age of Samuel. As I told you, he's a great judge, a prophet, and priest in Old Testament. I want to tell you some of the, the back story of Israel before this had happened. After being settled in Canaan, after the Exodus, the Israelites kept on worshiping idols. God sent his judges and warned them not to worship the idols. Sometimes God using their neighboring country to punish the people of Israel. But they would turn away from God again. Samuel assembled Israelite at Mizvah to pray under the leadership of the Samuel. The Israelite prayed, prayed, fasting, fasting, yes. We need to fast, fasting, and uh, confess their sins and the transgression to the Lord. Oh, they did because they obeyed Samuel's order. You know, when Philistine Hold that Israel had assembled in a uh, Mizvah. They came up to attack again. Hmm? You know, devil has our praise so much that he tries to prevent us from that praying we're going to pray to the Lord. Yeah, we have to beat this devil's tactics. Samuel offered so Samuel offered burnt offering to the Lord and cry out to the Lord for the Israel people. The Lord, listen, is 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 a, is a miracle that God performed for the. Israel people, having heard prayer by great prophet Samuel, to whom love Lord. All right, Lord thundered with a loud thunder, loud thunder against the. You know, the Philistine and threw them into such a panic, panic, that they were routed, escaped before the Israelites. Israel chased and killed every Philistine. They were totally destroyed. Oh, thank you. Victory was on the people of Israel, hallelujah, by the power, mighty power of the God. God is 
had this son, Samuel's prayer. Amen. Can I have an amen? Oh, thank you. Oh, 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 I feel Holy Spirit. I feel, I like a teaching. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So, this is a, this is a, is a point of today's message. As I told the first time, uh, in today's message, today's text, Samuel took a stone and set it up and named it Ebenezer. Thus far, I say again, remember, thus far had the Lord helped us. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my man, thus far, Lord has helped us. Hallelujah. No matter what kind of the life you have lived so far, no matter how many mistakes you had and failure like the people of Israel, no matter how painful you feel now, you have been feeling if you trust in the Lord, if you believe in the Lord, hallelujah. You know, march forward with your face, hallelujah. God will bless you so that the place of despair will turn in to the place of the hope, the place of the wound, into the place of God's blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You know, people of Israel had a great difficulty situation with the Philistine, as you have heard. But but God rescued them. God delivered them. In response, the people set up a large stone. Listen. Listen, I want you to listen. This is, a, is the point I want to wrap up at my sermon this time. A large stone as a memorial of God's great help. God's great help and deliverance. During tough times, yes, we may need to remember the crucial turning point. I know you had a crucial turning point. I know. I believe you remember crucial turning point the, your way by the God's blessing, God's helping. In our past to help us through the present time. Memorial, let me tell you, memorial can help us. Oh, yes. Oh, I believe you. You, you understand what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know you miss what I'm saying. Memorial can help us remember God's past victorious. You got. You had experience before. I know you do. God's past victory. We have to remember again. Why? 
to gain, to gain confidence in our faith and strength for present, so we can fold much with our faith for the glory of God. When we go back in the retrospect and remember what God had done, like uh, people of Israel who had experienced that God had helped him, God had helped the, the people of Israel and give victory through the prophet Samuel. We sometimes need to remember what God has done for you. That is, is God of Ebenezer. That Samuel set up the large stone at the Ebenezer and between Ebenezer and the Shen. Hallelujah. But I, let me tell you the, the conclusion. After they the, the during the same times, there were never war between the Philistine and the Israel. God's hand always had kept on the Israel. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I believe that if you is holding on the promise of the God and and